Welcome to Children's Homily. Sir Droopy Head and Father Charlie shall be having a conversation about the Holy Family. Thank you for joining us. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who were seeking the child's life were dead. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he had heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father, Herod he was afraid to go there. And after being warned in a dream, he went away to the district of Galilee. There he made his home in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. Jesus will be called a Nazarene. Happy New Year! What a year last year was. We all had to wear a mask, there are all kinds of birthdays we had to miss. We even had to go to school on our computers. Even Christmas was different. I know many people that didn't get to go to their grandparents' house for Christmas. Well, Happy New Year to you, Sir Droopy Head. Yes, it has been one, one strange year. And while we had to wear masks and attend our classes over the computer, and even though Christmas was uh, just a little bit different, we still found ways to be together. You know, we were still able to go to school with computers. We were still able to see our grandparents over Christmas. And we were still able to have church together on videos. But most importantly, this year, we got to see you and your friends star in movies like Sir Droopy Head and Madam Dragon and Father Whammy and even Hibbity Dibbity. And those were some pretty cool videos, I must say, Sir Droopy Head. So while this year was a little strange, we still were able to find a way. Still finding a way? That reminds me of a map. Really? A map? Yes, a map. Whenever my friends are out looking for buried treasure, we have a map. Otherwise, we would not have been able to find our way. But you know, with treasure maps, there was never a straight line that led us directly to the treasure. You see, Father Charlie, we had to zigzag, and eventually we always found our way. And you know, come to think of it, the treasure map and finding our way reminds me of our Bible verse from today. Hmm, a map and finding our way? Go on, Sir Droopy Head. Well, when Mary and Joseph left from Nazareth, they were about to embark on a great adventure, like my friends and I do. They went to Bethlehem, and then Mary gave birth to Jesus. Then they should have gotten to go home. Well, why didn't they go home? Because there was an angel of the Lord who told them to go to Egypt. Because they would be safe in Egypt. So it's kind of like your zigzag map. 
Instead of going straight home, they zigzagged and went to Egypt. That's right. So the Holy Family, Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus, all were in Egypt. And they were very safe. And Egypt was a cool place to be. But guess what? An angel of the Lord visited Joseph and told him to go back to Israel. So the Holy Family could not go back home. So the angel of the Lord told them to go to Egypt because Egypt was going to be a safe place for them. And then the angel of the Lord told them to go to Israel. Right, Sir Drupiad? Uh-huh. But Joseph was afraid because there were some bad guys still in Israel. But then the angel told Joseph to go to the village of Nazareth because they would be safe there. Oh, and that's why Jesus' hometown is called Nazareth. Uh-huh, and the Holy Family was safe and finally home. They had to go on a zigzag just like my treasure map. But just like we all did this year, the Holy Family of Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus, they found a way. Wow, Sir Droopy Head, you're getting really good at this. You're right. It has been a strange and, and, and interesting year this year of 2020. And sometimes, just like the Holy Family, we have to make zigzags, just like on your treasure map. You see, the Holy Family was able to find their way because God loved them. And guess what? God loves each and every one of you too. And so over this year, God has shown us love, even though we've been having to go to school on the computer, even though we've been having to wear a mask, and even though we might not have gotten to go to all the birthday parties that we normally would have, we can still know that God loves us. And I hope everyone here knows that your family here at St. Bartholomew's, including Sir Droopy Head, Madam Dragon, Father Whammy, Hibbity Dibbity, and me, love you very, very much. And so this year, in 2021, we're going to pray that you will know the fullness of God's amazing love. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Most gracious and eternal God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for all the love that you have showed us and to our families. We thank you for our schools. We thank you for this church here at St. Bartholomew's. We just ask that as this new year comes upon us, that you will show us your mighty love. We ask this in the name of God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.